Hey guys, I wanted to answer the question, do women need more carbs on a keto and intermittent fasting plan? Okay, this is a common question a lot of women have because when they eat carbs, they feel better. So naturally, they need carbs, right? Makes total logical sense because when they don't do carbs, they feel like crap. Let's, let's, uh, let's explain that. When the blood sugars drop down too low, when you do intermittent fasting especially, the first place for the body to notice it is in the brain. Why? Because the brain doesn't store sugar. It gets its fuel from the blood. If there's low sugar in the blood, there's going to be low sugar in the brain and the brain is going to suffer. It's going to feel very funky. You're going to get moody, irritable, and not feel very good. Brain fog, memory issues, all these symptoms. Okay? And then you eat carbs and wow man you just feel so much better but but look what's happening deeper you have a situation where your cells are resistant to insulin that means insulin's not working that well okay that's behind this uh, blood sugar problem because what happens if insulin is not working it's not being absorbed the cells send a signal back to the origin the pancreas saying, you know what, we're not getting uh, the message, we're not getting that hormone, so then the pancreas makes a heck of a lot more. The pancreas will make seven to t uh, five to seven times more insulin than it should, okay? So now we have a lot of insulin going on. Guess what? That's gonna keep your blood sugars, because insulin lowers the blood sugar, it's gonna push it down even harder. So we have a combination of high insulin and Intermittent fasting, it's going to crash those blood sugars. You're not going to feel very good. But what you need to understand is what's really happening, okay? We need to fix this because if you start adding more carbs, this problem never goes away. It continues. Why? Because what causes the resistance is high levels of insulin because you're snacking too frequently or you're eating carbs. Carbs increase insulin. See the problem? So we want to get rid of this problem. We don't want to continue it. So how do you do this correctly? What you do is you heal insulin resistance by not adding carbs. Okay, because you haven't, once you fully adapt to fat over here, we want you to burn fat. We don't want you to run on the sugar thing anymore. To burn fat takes time. It takes two to six weeks. Yeah. To do that, you have to add a lot of greens, B vitamins, and add fat to the meal to go longer. But maybe you don't want to do this too long. Maybe you want to do it kind of like three meals for a while, get used to it, and then down to two meals uh, slowly, okay? So you don't, so your brain doesn't um, have a problem. Um, let's say, for example, that's overwhelming and you can't even deal with that. Then instead of adding the carb, what you could add is protein. At least protein is better than a carb, okay? Because the protein will also make you feel better for other reasons I'm not going to get into, but, uh, but not adding carbs. So women don't need more carbs on keto and intermittent fasting. All they have to do is understand what's happening, do it more gradual, okay? Do it correctly so we can eventually get rid of this because I'm telling you, once you get into a full keto adaptation, you're going to feel incredible. You're going to have a lot of endurance, but it does take some time and patience. That's why we call you a patient, right? That's why I actually put you in a waiting room so you, no, I'm just kidding. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hey, tell me what you think about this video. Go ahead and comment below and give me your feedback.